children's museum is a lot different because it's not really a museum where you just look. It's where a mu it's a museum where you can really like be in and actually play when you're like eight years old. You can't really be a construction person, but when you come to the like children's museum, there's like places where you have like the materials that you can use to imagine that you're actually being a construction worker in. It's just like a place where you, you can use your imagination to imagine that you can be anybody who you really kind of want to be. I think the museum's dream is that they want pe kids to have fun and have joy and laughter when they go to this museum and play with the things that we invented. Um, I think why they include children is because children have different ideas than grown-ups do. So I think they want to um, give the kids a chance to say their ideas. I feel like that's amazing and that the kids' voices are being heard because they're doing what their imagination wants. When they were thinking about uh, redesigning the grocery exhibit, the museum came to our class and asked if we'd be willing to help, um, knowing that children are, children are experts on children. Um, they know what kids like, they know what kids are going to find engaging, they know what kids need. So they, they were just this incredible resource to help grow this new exhibit. If we're going to enter into this more um, genuine relationship with children and their ideas, we have to first become aware that we have those preconceived ideas and then figure out how we're going to put them aside so that we can really listen to the kinds of things that children are saying. That's how we are able to be in the kind of partnership with children where they are contributing things that only they can contribute and that we're making room for those kinds of contributions so that we can think of things that neither one of us could have thought of on our own. We worked very closely with the children for a period of, I think it was about eight weeks, and we asked them what they wanted to see. Um, we did design work together. Have like a tree like right near there? And maybe okay. a tiny bird. Yeah, and then chicken coop and the, like things are over on this side, wow. and then all the garden areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want an apple? Yeah. Maybe like those, but you have like a basket on the front where you can carry a pumpkin. See, that's why we need your ideas. You guys know about kids. You know what kids like to do. I had some preconceptions of what children are like, or or think. They weren't overt, but I definitely had some, and so when I was working directly with them, I appreciated the back and forth that I would have with the children. So I think I saw, Lauren showed me a drawing where somebody drew a sun and a moon, and I think maybe one other shape, and they, they were on like a pulley system. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking of the, uh, like, you would put the sun here, mm -hmm. and a string pulley, and you could pull it up and the sun would go down. And there could be, and the lights would go with it. So like, if yeah. you put the sun down, mm -hmm. the lights would shine. And the interdependence is just all through the whole thing. It, like, you come from the nature part and you have the sun and the rain. And then you bring it to the store and then you buy it from the store and then make food in the food carts and give it to people and stuff like that. The play brings different people together even if they don't know each other. This is your smoothie. One of the ideas that they had was 
that apples should be able to be interactive, so they should be on a tree, and children should be able to come up and pick them and put them back. And so that was an idea that came directly from them that we incorporated into the project. Well, I guess the old one was kind of more of a grocery store than like an area where there were lots of like plants growing. In the old exhibit, it was more kind of about like picking out the things that you want. The new one is kind of you, more interactive. You can like go with the food and see all the different steps that it takes. Like you can start as a farmer, then go as the person who's in the truck and drive to the place where you can be the one who gives it to people and it's just very interactive. Where your food comes from is these places where it's grown. So if you want to eat an apple, it's going to come from a tree. And so if you understand that it's coming from a tree, then you'll have more of a appreciation for that tree and where that where that thing is coming from. But um, I, this, I'm making lobster, but soon it'll look like this. So. The exhibit is a very unique expression of who we are in this place and the community we're hoping to be and hoping to build. And I think it's really powerful to have an idea and work with others and then bring it into reality. There's nothing greater than that.